Ranganathan Memorial Lecture, which will be delivered by Professor Alaka Burugaya uh, on the topic. Professor Ranganathan uh, and public libraries in today's context. Uh, you are all aware that Yasbik has introduced this lecture uh, in the year 1993. On the 1992, Ranganathan's birth centenary was observed throughout the India. And in that year, Yasbik has uh, decided to organize a regular lecture program which will be yearly, every year. And so they started this lecture program in the year 1993. In that year, the lecture was uh, delivered by Professor A. Nilabhagan, a close associate of Dr. Ranganathan, on the topic Dr. Kesa Ranganathan in today's context. From 1992 to date, total 22 lectures were organized by ESC on different aspects on Ranganathan's teachings, teachings, Ranganathan's philosophy, and other like that. In this year, we have with us Professor Alka Buragahira. Uh, actually, her name we have selected two years before, but due to some unavoidable circumstances, we cannot organize this lecture program. Another thing, uh, all the 22 lectures were organized physical mode, so physical presence in a particular time day. But this year, you know, we are all in a uh, separate situation, we know uh, we, we all are in a different situation in a pandemic situation. Actually, also, we are uh, celebrating the pandemic situation also. In the last year, 10, 31, 31st December, we have started this situation. That is other issue. So, in this year, we have decided to organize this program to virtual mode. And so, we invited Professor Guragaya and she has accepted our. ESLIC's invitation. So thank you, Madam, from here on behalf of ESLIC and, my, and from my personal behalf. And actually, Professor Alaka Bure is a veteran professional in our field. She was a retired professor from Gowati University. She taught in Gowati University more than two decades. She have many students. She have organized, she have supervised many PhD students, around 13 students she has supervised. And Professor Burugai also attached to it other uh, librarianship also. I think uh, Professor Burugai was attached to public library development and also total library development, not only in Assam and Northeastern states. She has contributed uh, in library science throughout India also. She has, or, uh, she has participated in many lecture programs throughout uh, the India, throughout Assam and other in Northeastern states. She was felicitated uh, by, uh, she was felicitated by Ranganathan Kaula Award in 2005. She was also attached with ESLIC. She was vice president in ESLIC in the year 2006 when ESLIC celebrated 50 years. We felicitated her. She was also associated with Assam College Library Associations, Assam Library Associations in many positions. Uh, for drafting Assam Public Library's bill, she has contributed a lot. She has not only a figure from Assam Northeastern states, she is a veteran figure and from in our field also. And the topic she has selected is Ramanathan and public libraries in today's context. We know that uh, Ramanathan's theory teachings in not only public libraries, all library science or libraries as relevant in today's area. So we are waiting for her speech, how we throw light on that context. So again, I welcome Madam on, again, I welcome Madam on today's lecture from my behalf and on Yazdik's behalf to uh, speak on a very good topic, a very relevant topic in nowadays context. And the total program will be presided over by our uh, our member, our family member, our president, Professor Narendra Lahaka, uh, she will um, chair the session. I once again welcome Professor Lahaka in this program to preside her. And finally, with these few words, I again welcome uh, the speaker, Professor Lahaka, and other uh, audience participants who are connected to Google Meet this program to hear this 
23rd Ramanathan Memorial Program throughout the length and breadth of the country. I once again welcome all. So, please, Professor Lakar. Uh, thank you, General Secretary Ayaslik. As you have mentioned very correctly, it is the 23rd Ramanathan Ayaslik Lecture. We are happy enough that we have got Professor Olaka Bura Gohai, as in Obhijit has already introduced you all. Along with Professor Buragohai, Madam, I welcome you all. I have seen a very uh, good faces. I mean, very uh, um, uh, good professionals that are very active and very senior professionals like Satpoti, Banaji sir, Omitav Chatterjee sir, and many more. We are very much happy of seeing you here in this meet. I, I will not take much time. I have uh, I once again request Professor Buragohai to talk to the topic that has been. Uh, as I said by her, it's, it's herself, uh, Professor Guragu Hangdam. Madam, you have to unmu unmute your telephone, I mean, voice. It's still mute form. No, we did not hear you, but we have seen you. We did not hear you. Please unmute. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, no, again, it is un unmuted. Again, it is muted. Sorry. It's okay. Let it be. Let it be. It's okay. It is yeah, you're okay. 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 Uh, Honorable President of ISC, Dr. Narendra Lahkar, Sri Abhijit Kumar, General Secretary of ISLIC, esteemed members of the Executive Committee of ISLIC, general members of ISLIC, and all others sharing this webinar meeting this evening. So, good evening to you all. So I'm speaking, of course, on Dr. S. R. Ranganathan and the present context of public librarianship in India. But I would like to touch some other aspects as well in a very brief way. First of all, I would like to pay my heartiest homage to the memory of our great library professional, late Dr. S. R. Ranganathan father of library movement and library science in India. With his tremendous contributions to the library profession, it was almost single-handed struggle with assistance from a few inspired professionals against the most neglected but integral part of the entire social, cultural, educational, and economic system of the nation that is, the library system in India. His attempt to establish librarianship as a regular professional discipline is unique. His contribution towards academic librarianship in India is great, and his incessant attempt to upgrade public librarianship for the benefit of the entire community, irrespective of caste, creed, age, sex, and social and educational standard cannot be forgotten. The most important aspect is that Dr. Ranganathan, based on his rigorous research on every aspect of library, has established library science as a full-fledged discipline in the universities in India. During his time, information communication technology did not enter into any field of life. Towards the end of the last century, <clears throat> that is the 20th century, ICT enters into every field of life in a big way. ICT has brought tremendous changes and opportunity to the library profession also as a means to organize and disseminate, locate, conserve data, information and knowledge efficiently, accurately, and speedily, and disseminate them easily, breaking the barriers of space and time. However, the fundamental principles of librarianship remains the same. The five fundamental laws of library science that were the greatest contribution of the Dr. Ranga, S. R. Ranganathan to the field of librarianship at large. <clears throat> Although death classification has lost, lost its tremendous role in librarianship, ship, as pinpointed retrieval of information has become possible 
and easy with the help of computer software based on boolean logic and other methods the principles of classification propagated by dr s r ranganathan are still important for subject analysis for creation of thesaurus etc besides his theory of reference and information service and the emphasis put on regular study of the book shelves of the libraries by the librarians and the principles of extension services in libraries should be now the guiding spirit of the library professionals there is always the urgency of modifying the content of the syllabuses of the universities time to time according to need and changes taking place in the society i remember in the indo us conference on library education held in new delhi in 1992 i had to answer to the volley of hot speeches from representatives of pakistan india and bangladesh in the context of my paper information communication technology in the need based lis curriculum in india when i propose curtailing of 100 marks to be allotted to the study of ict from classification and cataloging that carries generally 400 marks out of total 800 marks in the traditional is bachelor and master degree syllabuses however british and american representatives had supported me and also the chairman and the deputy chairman on the session of the meeting and the proposal was accepted by the ugc also and ugc had circulated a letter to the universities in 1993 proposing to offer an alternative paper in ict in masters course now let us come to academic librarianship ranganathan's contribution <clears throat> towards academic librarianship in india is really great in independent india also until 1960s the college librarians in india were merely like assistants simply custodians of the collection of books and periodicals sabli preserved with no higher qualification nor status and with poor salary scale and with no involvement in all academic decisions of the colleges ranganathan's non stop repeated attempts in different ways to make the government of india the decision makers and even the ugc understand that the library is the soul and integral part of the entire academic institutions and <clears throat> he was at last successful and the librarians sometimes they are called have been made at par with teachers in qualification salary and status under qualified <clears throat> librarians also were given chance to improve their qualification now national knowledge commission put it into the row 5 wall of opinion that the ability of a nation to use and create knowledge capital determines its capacity to empower and enable the overarching aim was to transfer india into a vibrant knowledge based society and the role of library in providing widespread and inclusive access to knowledge is widely acknowledged and the need to use modern information and communication technology to meet the changing needs of the library and information sector was widely recognized now i would like to point out to the status of academic libraries and librarians in the new education policy 2020 sometimes back i had from some reliable sources that there was <clears throat> the mention of <clears throat> the term library in his first draft there is no mention of the term library in his first draft later in the final draft one paragraph mentioning about 
the public library occurs under the part three that is under other key areas of focus in page number 52 the paragraph appears as 21.9 under 21 adult education and lifelong literacy a division under 20 that is professional education is page number 50 all coming under other key areas of focus no doubt Public library, which is called the People's University, is definitely an instrument of adult education and lifelong literacy by attracting people to read books. But mention of for ensuring vibrant libraries in communities and educational institutions, it will be imperative to make available adequate library staff and also devise appropriate <coughs> career pathways is a big slap on the face, I think, of the academic librarians. The mention of the term library along with labor laboratory is ludicrous. Library functions under a system, not individually like a laboratory. I have <clears throat> gone through the pages of higher education under part two, higher education, starting from page 33, where research as an intensive work has been particularly emphasized. But there is no mention of inevitable need of library system and the role of librarians. Rather, emphasis is given on internet digital infrastructure and technology. I'm afraid if some institutions appoint information technologies, then uh, <clears throat> rather than librarians in its higher posts in future. Vacancies may be filled up by technologies and technicians, then librarians. The authorities may feel that knowledgeable technologies are better than the librarians who have learned the technology only partially. New Education Policy 2020 conceives library only as a physical library with physical books. But internet may, nobody knows, it betrays anyone any day, particularly in serious resource. I think you all know about it. Uh, there is a difference between a true librarian and a technologist in case of library service. The librarian is supposed to have ideas about the recorded information, physical or electronic. In a science library, the librarian is supposed to be with science background and must continue to have book self-studies just to give the idea about the books contained in his library. As Dr. Ranganathan repeatedly advised earlier to the librarians to make self-studies repeatedly. <laughs> Recorded information is the soul of the library. Technology is only a means for organization stories and dissemination of information. I'm afraid the library profession has totally ignored the aspect of culture of books in libraries. In the present day syllabus, there is no scope for universal knowledge. Libraries discuss among themselves about newly developed softwares but not current thought-provoking books. <clears throat> I shall not be surprised if the authority of an academic or special library prefers a technologist or a technician to manage a library, hybrid or digital, than a qualified librarian. Dr. Ranganathan's repeated advice must be remembered. So in this context, in my last lecture, 
I should mention that in my last lecture in reference, a refresher course last year in Guwahati University, I had discussed about creation of lab for books and habit of reading books. Because I know that this culture of books have been totally ignored by the present library profession. Let's come to the public library now. Public library is a living force for popular education as per UNESCO manifesto. It is a product, product of modern democracy and literacy. So public library is the instrument of one's purposeful lifelong continuous process of self-learning, informally and non-formally. The fundamental relationship of the living and dynamic multifunctional public library to the cultural, educational, civic, and economic health of the nation should be revered as fundamental to the values of civilization. Ranganathan's contribution for providing a legal base to the entire process of organization, administration, and functioning of the public library system is unique. There must be regular fund and cooperation and coordination among the different units of public library system based on legal mandate. Ranganathan was influenced by the Public Library Act of the United Kingdom passed in 1850, amended in 1964 bringing the public libraries under the town and county councils as local self-government, which are forming the strongest links in the chain of British public administration. Of course, due to manipulation of the British government in India, and Ranganathan himself <clears throat> also being convinced that the Indian local governments like municipalities and district councils were not strong enough to function independently as many such councils remain suspended year after year. Hence, Ranganathan had agreed to make the library councils independent of the local municipalities and district councils. As library falls under state subject, Ranganathan's library bill being converted to act in a state does not have scope to work in other states as well. The first library act drafted by Dr. S. Ranganathan was the Madras Library Act, 1948, now called Tamil Nadu Library Act, 1948. However, it would be also wrong just to copy the act of Ranganathan for other states as well, as without consideration of the prevailing circumstances remaining in the respective states, it will not be rather just to adopt exactly the same model. For example, as Assam and other northeastern states have already a fully government-controlled public library system right from the state central library down to the subdivisional library under the government of India's first five-year plans. Ranganathan's model of public librarianship may be applied only in case of rural libraries, while coordination may be established between both the systems, rural and urban, under an act with state library advisory committee and state library authority over all the system. Now, out of 28 states and eight union territories in India, a number of states, including Assam, have yet to enact Public Library Act. Now, 
the tragedy is that majority of the working librarians and library professionals do not have proper idea about public librarianship and its legislation. They do not have any idea about the Panchat Raj and its relation with the mandatory rural public library service and which is the stepping stone based on which rural development may be possible. So strong public library movement could not be organized in these circumstances. Now let's see the university departments. Most of the university departments provides public librarianship as an alternative paper only. And students generally do not opt for this paper un unless he or she is deputed from some public library because the salary scale in academic libraries is much higher than, the, than that of the public libraries. Although Government of India's Sinha Committee report on public libraries in 1959 recommended salary for public librarians at par with other district officers, but it has not happened in most of the states. As the public library is an institution open to all, irrespective of caste, creed, age, sex, and social and educational standard. It should be taught as a compulsory subject in all universities. It may be accommodated in the paper, library, and society, which is done in some universities. In Assam, most of the library personnel do not have enough idea about <laughs> public librarianship is functioning and importance in social, cultural, and educational upliftment of the society, not its inevitability in rural upliftment and the legal provisions with the Assam Panchayat Act, amended in 1994, based on 73rd Constitutional Amendment in 1992, and about other library X, because we could not teach public librarianship in our departments because at first because of, I mean, the um, dirt of teachers, and then secondly, less interest in public librarianship. Now, it may be reiterated that the entire social system of culture of mankind is a process of centrally conserved concern, centrally concerned with communication of knowledge, information, and learning. No socio-cultural and socio-economic development of a socially of a society could be brought up unless there exist various systems for communication and dissemination of knowledge and information to every nook and corner of the society. The prospect could be expected for a society without providing, no prospect could be expected for a society without providing respective desirable systems for access to necessary knowledge and information required by the different groups of people in the society like students, teachers, children, housewives, farmers, technicians, administrators, businessmen, politicians, researchers, etc. <clears throat> and this information communication dissemination process, which in other words may be called education system, may be either in either informal, formal, or non-formal way. Everything we are and everything we do is a long 
process product of our original makeup molded through a long process of interaction with our environment and bend it to our needs come under the head of the process of learning in informal process when learning operates constantly arising simply from living in a certain environment its content arising from day to day experience in family and neighborhood environment from customs and traditions from work and play from the marketplace etc which is not methodic systematic and purposive this informal process is a lifelong continuous process of self learning also through relatively unplanned and undirected contacts with information communication media like the library books and periodicals mass media like newspapers radio and tv broadcasts various socio cultural platforms like motion pictures theaters clubs study circles temples etc members of present society would not come to the library just for the books and journals i think everybody will agree to it because they cannot they can read books online and get data from internet even if they are maybe not send person truth i mean in the internet data sometimes we find not send person truth so is the question how to attract the people to the library to the rural libraries in particular in order to make them regular readers and creating the habit of reading as an obsession and art a second nature what would benefit them educationally culturally and also economically in the present knowledge based society here comes dr ranganathan's library extension services in public libraries intended to attract readers to the library and benefit from reading books reading books would work as a panacea against all undesirable activities a total challenge to a young man's boredom generally what we have happened to hear from them that could lead him to undesirable activities which has become the big question at the present time now it has become a challenge all over the world to convert the static public library into high brand multifunctional institution involving all other socio cultural and physical activities and programs the ultimate aim being to convert people into regular readers of books friends philo- friends philosopher voltaire rightly rightly states that books are controlling the entire world except the barbarians we should remember this word well in india raja ramohan roy library foundation has been found in 1972 for planning improving and granting aids to the public libraries in india in cooperation with the different state and union territory authorities as the library falls under state list raja ram mohan roy library foundation was found when socio cultural and environment in india was different from the present time information communication technology 
was totally out of sight that time. I have been representing the foundation three times until this year. There are total 21 members under the chairman of the foundation. Only four library professionals are there among nine other dignitaries from various other fields. Seven ex officio representatives, including ILA representative and the director general being a professional. These are the 21 members. Now the picture of public librarianship has changed with incorporation of ICT and other factors. More and more professionalism is demanded. Although opinion of people from different other fields is a must. Now, where is the space for the four library professional members? Rarely added by the presence of one ex officio professional from Indian Library Association. In order to discuss and plan on public library service in India, I tried to increase at least one library professional member as an ex officio, but I had failed. Unless a few from the non-professional members start taking interest, like the library professionals, and join in discussion of matters with the library professional group, with their regular presence in the foundation meetings, things are not getting proper attention. That is what I feel. I may be wrong. I don't know. So the historians permit non-historians to decide their fate, I leave this question to be answered by the members. So I would like to complete my just uh, a few, just referring to some different points, maybe controversial, I don't know. With this, I thank you all. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Professor Gurman. Uh, in your uh, 45 days discussion, uh, you have very rightly put the contribution made by Professor Gurman from the current area of the How is special effect of course, you have to touch upon the syllabus by Gurman. To what extent it should be? And you're happy that the proposal that you have made in 1992, as you are talking about, regarding incorporation of ICT in LIS syllabus, was rightly given stress by the concerned authority and moved accordingly. Uh, you are very much concerned about librarianship versus technologists. Yes, that is a very important issue. We have to uh, raise our uh, issues in different forum so that in no circumstances librarianship is getting a second grade one. That is very correct. You are discussing about public library system also. That is also mostly public library system. And you have very rightly identified the issues that public library involve, especially the interested, not much interested by the young generation towards public librarianship to learn about this one. Very vital point you have raised regarding pay scale and the facilities that has been a competitive study between public and academic library, where public library is given very less weightage in different areas. Very rightly, of course, the departments are also op uh, given option for public library and academic library, and you have very rightly identified that departments are also in need of giving good weightage to the public library and uh, In this way, you are uh, also referring to RRLF. Though you are saying that it is controversial, I don't think that it is a controversial one. Yes, Karagalab should be represented, though along with us, a large number of librarian, library professionals should get a say. And we are happy that the director, director generally is from our field. 
So with his initiative, we have got the assurance also from him in our last meet that he will see to what extent he can help the public librarianship in a proper way. Even the president uh, of present RLF president also, we have invited him to speak from the side of his own as well as from RLF. We are very much hopeful during the tenure of the present president and chairman, I mean, director general, something good will be evolved for the public librarianship. And with this, actually, I want a few comments from our senior professionals or junior professionals. If you really uh, will be very happy to listen to few comments or few observation in a very brief way, or we have some uh, we have some uh, uh, ten minutes more within that ten minutes, if possible. I mean, I'm I will not uh, identify pe uh, person who are in who are participating. Please uh, voluntarily please give some comments so that uh, the speaker as well as we the ISL will be benefited by the way you are expecting uh, from the ISL. Please, most welcome. Uh, some of uh, we have senior and junior professionals. Uh, some comments from them on the uh, on the topic Ranganathan's its relev his relevance in the present day life public librarianship. Please, I request to meet up Satyajit sir if you if you uh, speak one or two minutes, uh, which complement uh, supplementing a lot of videos uh, discussion. Please unmute, please unmute, sir. Yes, now it's... I have very little experience of public libraries, and naturally it is very difficult for me to give any comment. I feel that Professor Alpha Mai has uh, made very important points here, and certainly, as she says, that li public librarianship is not actually ignored, rather ignored in, in our syllabi. And as a library, LIS educator, I feel that yes, LIS should be a part of the uh, library curricula. Earlier there was special papers on public librarianship, but now this type of system has been uh, actually abolished and mostly public librarianship is not taught at all in proper way. So I feel that in that way, Professor Buragwani has made a good point and the, the library educator should note that this type of uh, uh, this igno uh, ignoring public library will not be held. Already we know that many public libraries are actually being closed because of uh, several reasons. In India, not only in India, in, in outside in the UK also, the many public libraries are, have been closed. And the that means the pub, the government is not uh, feeling the importance of public libraries. And this is our duty as a uh, professional. And as if I see from ISLIC side also, there should be an effort that the, all the li libraries which have been closed, they should now, now be open so that uh, people can enjoy. And of course, as she has said, that public library should also take uh, uh, help of IT so that uh, it can help the modern, modern day uh, users. And uh, with this, I, I end my comments. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, anyone, uh, please, our seniors and junior. Uh, actually, we have uh, the options are there. Uh, we have not ignored, more like uh, LIC schools have not ignored the public levels, but the way we have given weightage is uh, very less. Weightage uh, because it's an option, and as there is very less scope. Of how their absorption employability is a major issue, and even if employed are there, the the salary scale facilities as compared to public academic library, uh, it's uh, very less, and uh, that is why library legislation is very important. Uh, even if library legislation is being uh, passed in number of states, it is not implemented now. Uh, the passing of legislation and implementation are very very difficult. Uh, especially northeast, there are three states already uh, 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 have a bad law on librarians, a public librarians, but no states are implementing this. So that may be one of the reason that public library is getting less weightage by the uh, by the uh, to the coming group, coming generation. 
and uh, there are lots of things actually we have to discuss. Baidu has sufficiently identified the issues relevant to that, and we have the responsibility to take care of all these issues. We have noted down, of course, uh, and uh, I'm just expecting any comments. Uh, uh, anyone from public library, if somebody is there, we'll be happy to listen to them one or two minutes. Okay, then, then uh, as uh, there is no further uh, comments from our honored guests, honored uh, participants, we want to, uh, uh, we want to, it's the last comments. Uh, uh, one or one minute, I want uh, Professor Guraguhai to one or two minutes uh, to suggest some specific issues that ASLIC can take over, as we have some, some time, eight minutes more. So if Professor Buragahi can you please unmute, madam, uh, give honor to a specific suggestion that Ashley can take in developing the public library system. You are still muted for madam. You are still muted for, no, we do not hear you. Yes, now. Yes. Sir. Okay, see, from Ashley, uh, of course, I think Ashley members, executive members should I, and we should sit down and think about it. Actually, I, actually, this is a public library is not a subject. But uh, even otherwise, because nowadays see, there is no difference between a public library and a special library because information technology must be applied even in public libraries. In that way, the public library may be taken as a uh, as a subject for discussion. But I would request particularly all the university departments to, I mean, to teach about public librarianship because public librarianship is related to each and every member of the society, even including the librarians. So he must know, I mean, being a librarian, he must know about public librarianship, even if he does not know much about technical library or academic library. <clears throat> that is what uh, my suggestion. And secondly, I would uh, rather request the mem members of ISLIC also, as well as others, to be careful about the role of library in academic institution under the new education policy. It seems that they feel library means only the library of keeping some physical books. And they are feeling even in, I mean, they're supposing a college, a college time, a student reads outside books. So in that way, as if library it should help. But there is nothing, no mention that the library system, library is a system, it is not single ones. The library system with coordination and cooperation of local, national, regional, international organizations they can provide information pinpointedly, specifically to the <laughs> research scholars. They totally forget, they the internet is everything. And then there are, you see, the consortiums, consortiums are rather prepared by the librarians. So now in the market, they will find some consortiums. So in that way, I think the authority is feeling there is no need of librarian, but the need of Technology. So I will rather ask the leaders of the library professionals to think about it and to take necessary step. Otherwise, I'm afraid that you will be driven away from the field. Thank you. Uh, uh, we are coming to the conclusion of the program. Uh, I request to extend a vote of thanks by, I think Bonasu will extend their vote of thanks, or please. <clears throat> uh, vote of thanks? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Yes, please. Honorable President, sir. 
and honorable speaker professor alga bura and madam on behalf of easli we extend our heartfelt thanks for accepting our invitation for delivering the easli ranganathan lectures in spite of your busy schedule we have been benefited with your thought provoking lecture with comments and giving the guidelines for public libraries in the line of ranganathan thought ranganathan thoughts we'll try our level, level best to bring our the public library system in india india once again i extend our thank to your to you madam we are thankful to our president professor nandu lahakar sir for presiding over the program we are also thankful to one and all who participated in the program thank you thank you very much yes sir sir you are muted sir uh thank you very much uh with this uh, word i just express my sincere thanks to you and uh, still in future also we'll exp we are expecting your full cooperation for the success of the other programs that we are going to hold thank you very much thank you mm, thank you